Yeah. All right, today I'm gonna share with you three different Dollar Tree Halloween makeovers. Two of them are actually dupes, and we're starting off with this first one, which I saw this skeleton on this pedestal from Steinmart. They were selling it for $19.99, and of course, I thought I can do this myself with Dollar Tree products. So I'm gonna use this skull from Dollar Tree, and I wanted to enhance it just a little bit, and I used some Mod Podge and some black loose glitter from Dollar Tree as well and it was that simple of course you can use all kinds of different glitter like chunkier glitter and that would look really cool but I was definitely trying to mimic what I saw at Steinmart if you will and I will say that the pedestal or the glass candlestick holder that I had I actually did this DIY way back in the day when I did my spell book so I'll link that at the end of this video but I went ahead and decided to use it for this skull just because I wanted the candlestick to already have glitter on it and it was already done and I can just use a different candlestick holder to hold my apple and you'll know what I'm talking about if you've seen that video so it was as easy as just using some hot glue to secure the candlestick to the skull head, but if you really want this to last, use a E6000. I just don't have any on hand, but I would have done that. So anyway, that's basically how I secured the skull to the base, and then it was time to add the cute a hat like the little witch's hat so I also got of course everything is from Dollar Tree and except for the Mod Podge but they sell that there as well and I removed the headband piece I removed the um, the tool overlay I forget what that's called but I removed that but you can leave it on it could be really cute kind of makes it look like all the skulls are going to a funeral if you will but I decided to get rid of it I basically just used some hot glue, put it on top of the skull head, and secured the felt hat that way. Now I wanted to add some more detail just because the hat is kind of plain, so I found the skull bones necklace that I had in my stash, and I decided to use the black one just because the purple one didn't match exactly to my purple spider that I wanted to use, and I just don't like different shades of the same color because it just looks mismatched to me. So I went with black and it was just the right touch of extra detail and I secured that as well by using hot glue and then I took those really cute spiders and I secured one at the center of the bow and when I stepped back to look at it I thought I have to add a second one. It just looked weird when I pulled that second one away so I definitely went with putting one at the top. And that is basically it, you guys. I mean, it cost me what, honestly, I'd have to think about it. I haven't thought about it at this point, but I'll link it down below and all the materials that I used, but probably one, two, three, four dollars, uh, much better than $20. I actually have plans to make multiples of these so that like I have a collection and can you just imagine like a bunch of them in a row like an entryway table or in a shelf or something. I think it would look really cute and I have a witch's theme in my house so I really loved that my skull kind of looked like a dead witch if you will. Alright, this next makeover is using Dollar Tree spider webs, but this is a dupe to Pier 1. They're selling this like table runner, and I'll insert a picture for you, and they're selling it for $14.99 the last time that I checked, and it's basically just going to cost you however long that you want your table runner to be. At first I started off with 5, and then I realized that it looked really good on this table, so I'm probably going to put this like runner, if you will. On this specific table and five was too long so I went ahead and went with four and basically as you can see I'm just taking off the spiders from it just be really gentle it shouldn't pull on the black part but just be as gentle as you can and it worked out great for me and then basically I laid them all down definitely pay attention to the pattern and the, the direction of the webbing so that you know how you want it done and then I basically laid it the way I wanted it and then I came back in with hot glue and that's it four dollars versus fifteen
Now this next item isn't a dupe, but this is a makeover in my opinion because this item here, as you can see, is basically like a hanging sign, something that you would probably use as a wreath or just to hang on a wall, and I decided to make it over and do something completely different with it, and I thought it would just be cute to take the welcome piece and then pick my favorite pumpkin, which my favorite one was the polka dot, and add it to a picture frame, and then it could sit like on my entryway as like a welcome sign instead of just using it as the way that they had built it to be used, if you will. And I have a bunch of other pumpkins that I can use for other things, and actually I can go buy other picture frames and just put a pumpkin in each one and maybe like use that in my bathroom. You can hang it up on your wall. So lots of different things you can do. I did go back and pick out a piece of scrapbook paper, and as you can see, the glass fit behind the scrapbook paper just because I didn't want the thing to be shiny, if you will, and I did have to put the welcome piece in first just because otherwise if I would have glued it from the outside in like I did the pumpkin, it wouldn't have fit because it was too wide, but thankfully it fit perfectly uh, mounting it from the back end, if that makes any sense. And this basically cost me $2, the picture frame, I had the scrapbook piece of paper on hand, and then the $1 um, sign decor from Dollar Tree. And that's basically it. I hope that you guys are enjoying my Halloween videos. I can't believe how many I've been putting out. I honestly didn't have plans. I didn't do that much last year, but I'm really enjoying this and I can't wait to decorate. Yes, there's going to be a video on all my witch stuff. So that's it for this video though, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!